Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting. In this video, I'll be covering SAP's overall equipment effectiveness, also known as SAP OEE. With OEE, an enterprise is able to quickly identify issues, enable collaborative corrective action, and implement resolutions for immediate operational improvement. The ability to monitor and improve the effectiveness of manufacturing processes not only improves the plant's performance, but provides an opportunity for broader business and supply chain performance improvements as well. I will be covering two different demo scenes. The first will be going over the analytics behind overall equipment effectiveness, and the second will be going over the user interface for overall equipment effectiveness. For this first scenario, our first our user will be a plant manager analyzing the performance of his plant, and he will start by seeing how his plant is performing today identify any issue areas, and drill in to find the root cause of an issue. So to begin, we'll start with the OEE analysis report. The user will default to a daily trend chart for the last 10 days for this particular plant, which is called Mysore. We'll mouse over the chart for today, and the pop-up will show the OEE KPI value compared to threshold values, values for red, yellow, and green, being above yellow is target. He sees that the OEE is below target today. From here, we'll switch to the hierarchical OEE analysis report up here to start to understand where the issue might be coming from. Mousing over this noodle production bar right here, pop-up will show the KPI value compared to the different areas of the plant. We'll select the filter criteria down at the bottom, and we'll filter on the current shift, which we'll set to night, and we'll see that the issue is happening in the current shift. We'll then filter by availability, then by performance, and quality. All three of these measures are below target, indicating an issue in all three areas. We'll have to drill down into all three areas and figure out where the issue resides. To do this, we'll click on the plant hierarchy button on the right side of the screen here, and we will select this noodle area where the issue resides. We can also filter on material. And we can see that there are multiple materials that were made on the line during the shift. We just filtered through each to see that production was fine for the 50G material, but the issue resides within the 100G material production. We are currently filtered to the production mode, where we can see that the production process, where we can understand when in the production process the issue was encountered. We can see that the changeover process is a target, but regular processing process was not, and where the issue resides. So now we know where the line, we know the line where availability issue is being encountered. We'll then select the last analysis report and unscheduled, unscheduled downtime option here. And this report analyzes the availability measure and the associated unplanned downtime of the manufacturing process. Mousing over the chart, we'll see that this pop-up shows that process failure is the largest issue with 16 minutes of downtime for the noodle line during this shift. We'll then click on this bar to drill down into the chart into the reason code. This chart shows one process failure reason code has been encountered for electrical breakdown. We'll then select the reason code hierarchy analysis type up here to continue to drill down into the issue. The chart shows that electrical breakdown occurred for all three of these machines in the line, the slitter, the compounder, and the dryer. So we can see that the issue exists for the electrical source of the entire line, and that it's not machine specific. So with this information, the user is able to create a work inspection request in the maintenance system to have the issue looked at and addressed. We'll return to the original analytic view and see that performance for the noodle line is in, in the current shift is running well below target right here. We'll select the speed loss analysis report for the same filter criteria. 
where we can see that there is a performance issue in the pelletizing process for this particular line. Like the prior analysis, we can also drill down into this performance issue and identify the root cause. Returning back to this original report, you can see that the quality is fine for regular processing, but when a production mode is switched to changeover mode, quality is well below target. We'll select the quality loss report for the same filter criteria. We'll see that there's a quality issue in the tunnel process. So we'll drill down into this, where we can see that the quality loss is due to this wrong usage of material. With this information, the user can now, has now identified the root cause of the issue, and from here you can take appropriate corrective action required to resolve it with the operational staff. In this next scenario, we will play the part of a plant operator monitoring a production process in real time and collecting production loss data used to calculate OEE. So to begin, the operator will log into the OEE dashboard. When the production is ready to begin, the operator selects a production order that's ready to be executed. In this case, it will be this production order right here. So we will go ahead and click Select. This will indicate that production has started. So here we are at the OEE dashboard, and this presents the current picture and status of production. And it also shows the OEE KPIs calculated for the current shift. So we'll go ahead and select the production button to record production. This data entry screen allows the user to enter and report production quantities. We'll enter in some numbers here for a good scrap and rework quantities. And then we'll go ahead and select report. On the dashboard, the production is entered, entered is recorded in the order status and the quality and performance KPIs are calculated based on quantities entered. So you can see right here. For recording downtime, we'll go ahead and click on this event button. This is the downtime screen. We'll select the work unit button and indicate the biscuit processing line as down. From here, we will select a reason, which will be blockage, and then for the detailed reason, we'll select Jam and Accumulator. Next, we'll select this Report button, and the downtime event has been now created. And on its dashboard screen, the downtime event is listed under Open Downtimes and Top Stoppages on the right. Next, we will record Speed Loss. So we'll go down here and click on the Speed Loss button to record Performance Loss. And the speed loss screen indicates that based on the amount of good product confirmed in the previous step, there's been three minutes of speed loss as a result. So we'll select the split button to record the loss and assign a reason code. In this case, we'll enter three minutes for the amount of performance loss time being recorded. And then we'll sign a reason code. <clears throat> we'll sign an original reason. And then for the more detailed reason, we will select waiting for materials. Again, we'll click this report button to record the event. And now we're brought back to the dashboard. And over on the right, you can see for top stoppages, we now have waiting for materials. Next, we'll be reporting that the biscuit processing work center is back up. So to do that, we'll click on this event button. And we can see that the biscuit processing downtime is no longer listed under open downtimes. Next, clicking on this order button will provide us with a list of all the planned orders. And for this example, we will select the same order that is running and select the second operation that was still outstanding. So we'll go ahead and click that same order and the second operation that is still outstanding. Next, we'll select this production button and we will report some production for operation 20. 
Next, we'll select the Event and Downtime button to record another downtime event. Except this time, instead of the entire line being reported down, only one machine on the line will be reported down. In this case, it will be the oven. Then we'll select the reason button. We'll choose a primary reason and then a secondary reason. And then go ahead and report this downtime. And now on our dashboard, we can see under open downtimes, we have the oven listed. Next, we'll take a look at this data collection button. We click this. We will be presented with a list of current raw materials. We'll go ahead and select this raw material consumption option right here. From here, we'll enter raw material consumption quantities for these three different components. And then simply click the report button on the bottom right again. Now we'll do the same process, except this time it will be for utilities. We'll enter in quantities for power and water use. And then go ahead and click report. Now when an order is fully complete, we'll select this review order button. And the system will present all the data that has been collected for the order. You can select this downtime tab to see a list of the downtime events that were collected for the order. You can see that this accumulator jam was event was reported and is listed for this order. In addition, we can click on this quality losses tab to see a list of the bad production reported. In this example, we'll select the reason code button to assign a reason to the bad product produced, and we'll select contamination as the reason. Finally, we'll take a look at this data collection tab and the raw materials option. Finally, we'll select the speed loss tab and the reported performance loss events are listed and can be maintained. To record the order as completed, you simply have to click on the complete button down at the bottom. This will indicate to the OEE system that the order is complete. OEE can be configured to integrate any or all of the data collected while monitoring production to ERP for reporting production. In this example, the good and bad production quantities and raw material and utility consumption information is integrated to production planning for order confirmation. So to recap, we took a look at the overall equipment effectiveness analysis report. And then we took a look at how OE is used in the operator user interface. If you have any questions or comments on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement this solution for you, please visit our website at simple-sap.com or call us at one of the numbers listed here.